this is Ted at Fireboard. We're here to announce our new Fireboard Drive fan control cable. So we want to real quick show everyone what it is, how it works, and how to use it. And when you get your new fan control cable, what you're going to find in the box, the cable itself, you're going to find a 12 volt power adapter, and you'll find your user guide. Now some of you will order a fan as well, and the fan will be in the box, but really our control cable is built to drive any fan. So we sell a fan, but you can use any 12 volt fan that's on the market. And I want to show you real quick how this works. And what you have, so we've actually built this cable to plug right into the auxiliary port on all existing fireboards. So every fireboard that we've sold, you can add on this cable to and you automatically have a temperature control. And it's actually quite more than just maybe what meets the eye, but there's a circuit board that's inside of this and it has a built-in speaker. It has the 12 volt power input. And then of course it has the fan output. So you plug the fan right in here and it actually will drive Believe it or not, it'll actually drive the fan off the fireboard's internal battery. So that we think is a super useful feature. It makes it really easy to use. So again, the goal is not to constantly run the fan to maintain the temperature, but it's just to help just slightly kind of nudge it in the right direction. So what I'll do here is I'm going to start closing down this top just so we don't want to overshoot what we're trying to get to. And I'm going to try to get to about 300 degrees. But what we can do is we can go to our app and we'll hit a set point. And I'm going to say 300. And what that's going to do is automatically enter that into the app. And it's going to start processing. It's going to start thinking about where do I need to set the fan in order to get up to, to full temperature. And so at this point, what's happening is Fan's starting to go pretty quickly, and we're actually going to ramp up to full speed until we hit up close to that 300 degree benchmark. And you can see in the app, it's actually updating the fan, the fan speed, it's updating the set point, it also updates your current temperature. So the fan is continuing to ramp up speed here. You guys can see that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this chicken on the smoker. So we're about 260, 265 here. We're approaching the set point and it's starting to slowly back off that fan speed. And then what's going to happen is as we approach 300, then it's actually going to slowly kind of maintain. It's going to, you'll see a little bit of oscillation, but it's going to settle in there right at the true fan speed just to maintain exactly what temperature we want. Now it's also worth mentioning you can override the set point on the app. You can actually come in you can say you know what I know the set points at 300 but I want to I want to increase the fan speed pretty quickly so you can actually just bump that up manually. You can type in fan speed and you can actually type in, I could say, instead of 50%, maybe I want to bump this down to 40%. And that's going to bump it right down to 40%. So you've automatically just kicked this fan right back up to speed here. And it is fully, fully up and running now, blasting it back up to 325. And then as we approach that, it's going to slowly start backing that down. And you can play with the vents too. I mean, if you feel like the fan's running a lot and it doesn't really ever get down to almost zero, you can probably open up some of your, some of your vents to help maintain that temperature. Because you don't want that fan to work very hard. Okay, so we have our 325 set point. We've been kind of cruising here between 300 and 325. Uh, the fan is actually maintaining this nice even temperature, kind of kicking on and off. You can already start to see on the graph where 
temperature dips down, the fan kicks back on, bumps it up, and then it kind of trips back off. So that will just continue. We'll finish cooking our chicken. But wanted to point out everything you see here, all the details, all the specifications, um, are available at fireboard.com slash drive. So go check it out. Check out our other videos. Check out all the other uh, documentation on this. And we'll show you exactly what we've done. But we're excited today just to show you what we've built with Fireboard Drive. And we appreciate you guys checking out this video. Thank you very much.